The boot process was successful. This happens every time, but I'm never sure what to say to them first. <laughs> you mean like a greeting? There's no need for that, they're just machines. But things like that might affect the performance of these models. Because they have a mind? Their emotions and things are completely faked. It's no different than an AI. It can't possibly be that sensitive. Well, until we rule it out completely, we should at least be kind to them. So you say. Alright, from this moment on, you will be registered as candidate unit number 031. Please repeat your number back to me. Unit number 031. Hmm? Did its pronunciation sound a little odd to you? You're worrying too much. Let's hurry up and haul it out. Ah, so this is the one. I've been waiting to see it in action. Now, try getting up. This model's loaded with a nearly pure form of that crystal. I can't wait to see what kind of results it gets. Unit number 031, can you hear me? Confirm your surroundings. Tell us any abnormalities you're feeling in your sensors or any other functions. The readouts seem fine. Monitoring system is fully operational. Okay, we're going to test your performance inside the battle chamber now. When you hear the buzzer, consider everything that moves an enemy and eliminate them. Sorry to do this just after you've woken up, but it'll be good to put you through your paces.
That was better than we could have hoped for. Hey, what's with all the bodies? You made it fight that many on its first time? Don't worry, it did great. This is a new high score for the first battle results. Well done, unit number 031. Stand by for further instruction. We're done testing, but there's still one thing left to do today. I'm going to temporarily shut down your optics. Can you close your eyes? We're going to transfer the data from the destroyed units into your memory. Run a diagnostic check while we're doing it and report any malfunctions. Understood? Anything to report? All right then, unit number 031, give us a simple report of today's battle results. This was the first test battle against others of my model. Seven units destroyed, below 15% damage sustained don't seem to be any problems. <laughs> Was that... Hmm? Did I say something funny? Does it have an accent? Accent? Do you not understand the words coming out of my mouth? No, we do, but... See? I wasn't hearing things. The unit's speech really is peculiar. Ah, you don't need to yell. Is the language interface not set to default? Sheesh, if we'd known this, we would have reset it in advance. Yeah, the base's personality might be coming out. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the volunteers were from the Kansai area. But it just woke up. Would it be exhibiting such distinct mannerisms this early? It may be the effect of an enlarged plume of dusk, the basis of their mind. Perhaps it's accelerating their personality development. But I don't want to waste this feedback data. Those are the best results we've ever seen. Leave it. It'll be fine. It can understand us anyway. This is just one of those things that makes science interesting. <sighs> there you go again. This unit is going to be communicating with the others. What if this effect spreads? Not only that, but because this is an anomaly, it doesn't seem to have a 100% accurate accent either. But if it has a personality, that might speed up the development of its mind. Yeah, she's right. All right, unit number 031, we'll explain things from the top. You are a weapon created to fight against unique enemies. 
Therefore, your combat performance is prioritized over all else. But in order for you to use a particular ability, you've been given a certain amount of awareness. And that makes your performance difficult to quantify, so we've been pitting test units against each other as a selective growth process. It's all in the service of achieving higher performance, and we don't want to waste any plumes of dusk. But regardless of your ego, there is one rule you must abide by. You might as well think of it as an order. The only order is to destroy everything we identify as enemies and to emerge victorious. Though your ego will give you some flexibility when planning tactics, there is no need to think about extraneous side issues. Use everything you have to win a fight. That's all you need to concentrate on. Understood. Uh. It's a pleasure meeting you. You mean like how this is our first encounter? In that case, yeah. What are you doing here? I've never heard your accent before. It's intriguing. They said stuff about my accent too earlier. Do I really talk that funny? I wouldn't say it's strange. It was just surprising. What's that thing? It's a dog. It must have wandered in. A dog. My unit number is 024. I wouldn't call it my name, but that's how they refer to me. What's yours? I'm unit number 031. They're up to the 30s? I see. That must mean they're finally creating units loaded with full-sized ones. This one wants to say hello, too. It does? You can understand what dogs say? Kind of. After carefully comparing its mannerisms and slight variances in its barking, I just figured it out. What's the point in doing that with a dog? The point? 
Hmm. There isn't one, I suppose. Are you interested in what I'm doing, though? Sounds like that's all the time we have today. I need to get back. I hope to see you again. Well, let's get right to the feedback on today's battle. What's that? This is a plume of dusk. Each of the units you destroyed had one inside them. These are much smaller than the one installed in you, though. Are you looking for something? Huh? Who, me? I just wondered if you were looking for me. I did express a hope yesterday that we would meet again after all. Would you like to sit with me? This rock is large enough to accommodate us both. Uh... It would be more relaxing than standing. Thanks. Can I ask you something? Hmm? What is it? Do... Other units think about stuff that doesn't have to do with fighting and missions? Do you have such thoughts? 
to tell you the truth, I can't really say. Feels like I do, though. Units of our model are all given a mind. It's so that we can eventually develop what is called an ego. The reason our appearance closely resembles that of humans is related. It's to foster self-awareness similar to a human's. Have you not been told about personas? Personas? It's an ability expected of us that normal weapons don't have. The conditions to use one are theoretically already loaded in us. But a well-defined ego seems to be necessary to activate it. That's why I'm sure there are others with thoughts that do not pertain to missions. Then, maybe those I've fought up till now. And how does that make you feel? The opponents you destroyed may have thought similar things to what you just did. It's okay. You don't need to come up with an answer right now. It actually may be better to forget it. After all, tomorrow we may find ourselves ordered to destroy each other. Ugh. It's time. I hope we meet again. You seemed to deliberately avoid attacking the face or the neck in that battle. Why? Huh? I... don't know.
These past three days, it hasn't been destroying the other units beyond repair, like it did in the first battle. It must be learning to finesse its attacks rather than just using brute force. The result? Swift, overwhelming victories. Its evasive skills are improving as well. That level of flexibility and evasive action could never be replicated by chaining predefined maneuvers. This unit's collected a good amount of feedback data, too. It's growing steadily, feeding on the bones of its kills. You don't have to say it like that. This one seems to have been raised as a pet somewhere far away from here. But one day, it was brought to the forest near here and its owner suddenly disappeared. Its name is apparently Snowy. At least, that's the name it responds to the most. I thought it was a dog. Oh. Well, the name of this animal is a dog, but how do I put this? Snowy is what this specific dog is called. Snowy. It's white, like snow. Easy to remember. Oh, this is where you went. You weren't at the usual spot, so I was looking for you. What's wrong? The look on your face seemed as if you saw something frightening. My face? My expression? Frightening? Am I... scared? Are you perhaps scared of fighting? Um... Nah, I don't think that's it. What is this? I can't tell.
Do you remember me asking before if you were scared of fighting? To tell the truth, I'm scared of it too. I'm afraid I'll lose and be destroyed, and it's painful for me to make others go through the same ordeal. We may be weapons, but shouldn't we be driven by more than seeking victory? I've been wondering that for a long time. But that's against orders. I'm sure things would probably be much simpler if I stopped thinking and just obeyed orders. Unfortunately, I finally found it. I found my answer. Your answer? There's someone I want to meet. I feel like meeting this person is my own objective and not an order given to me. Ever since I started thinking that I was scared to fight, each day was painful for me. If I'm going to feel this way until the day I lose, I even thought it would be better if I lost on purpose. But I won't think that anymore. I feel glad now that I exist. I mean, we're loved after all. Loved? That's right. Why are you telling me this? It's probably because I didn't think anyone but you would understand. Well, I hate to say it, but I'm not sure I really get it either. I'm sure you'll understand one day. I hope so anyway. Sheesh, why you gotta be so cryptic? What's the matter, number 031? Hurry up and terminate the target. Well, that was pretty impressive. You think it's because of the size of her plume? <laughs> Funny that one little part could make such a difference. 
Indeed. Most of it is due to differences in their tactical mentalities. It may be on the cusp of what we would call an ego. Considering how everything's been going so far, I'm starting to believe more in Persona abilities. Well done, unit number 031. That was an impressive display of destruction. Plus, you cleanly severed its transmitter, leaving the plume of dusk unharmed. That's certainly ending things on a high note. All right, number 031. As of today, the test battles are finished. Huh? It's over? All the results indicate that you have the very highest performance out of all the units of your model. I'd say we can go ahead and earmark unit number 031 to be the base for developing the fifth generation. The base? <laughs> it means that you're the winner. Okay, we're going to begin the usual review of the feedback, so come over here. Hey, can I talk to you for a while? The lab boys told me today that they were putting the kibosh on the test battles. I see. It's over then. Look, I've been thinking. If they end up tossing us out soon because of that, I want to go with you to go see that person you were talking about. The one you wanted to meet. I might even put in a formal request about it to the lab boys. If you are still safe when everything is over, open this file. What do you mean, when everything is over? How come I can't look at it now? If I had to answer, I would say because it wouldn't be fair. Fair? It would be wonderful if I could go with you to see her. Her? So this person you're looking forward to meeting is a girl? But it's strange. Even though my wish may not come true, I still feel satisfied for some reason. <laughs> How bizarre. It's a fervent wish of mine, too. I believe in you. I can tell you this because I trust you. Maybe that's why I feel so at peace. Huh? Maybe. This is what it is to feel alive.
Sounds like it's decided. We'll discontinue use of the name Unit Number 031. Generation 5 Labrys will be this unit's new name. Labrys. That's your name. The official one's much longer. Generation 5 Anti-Shadow... Uh... Fifth Generation Anti-Shadow Suppression Weapon Labrys. How hard is that to remember? Labrys. From now on, the battles you fight will not be to test your performance. They'll be geared toward drawing out a persona. First, you will fight all the remaining units of your model type. Your objective is to destroy them, every last one. Huh? The fear impulse and self-preservation instinct seem to be the key to activating a persona. This is the most effective method of inducing extreme mental stress. Stress? Come on, you don't have to go this far. Huh? Well, that's a first. None of them have ever protested like that. Well, at least that's a sign that its ego is developing. You told me it was over. I thought I wouldn't have to do these things anymore. You... Ain't there some other way? If there is, please, let me do that instead. I... I don't want to fight him anymore. <gasps> That's a surprise. Such natural speech patterns. I hadn't thought its personality would develop this fast. All the data is being recorded now. Let's compare them and look at which stages they improve at. Draw your weapon. I can't. If you don't fight, you'll lose. I will end up destroying you. Are you willing to accept that? Why? Why are you saying this stuff? If you fear being destroyed, if you have a heart capable of fear, then there's no need to hesitate. That alone gives you the right to attack me with all your strength. But doesn't the same go for you? You 
said there was someone you wanted to meet. I can't fight you knowing that. Come on, stop this. I don't want to fight anymore. Only one of us can exit this chamber. Huh? They never told you since you were strong enough that battles never lasted very long. But that's the rule of this place. The only time the door leading beyond that transparent wall opens is when one of us is considered unable to fight. From the start, this whole setup never took our feelings into account. But talking like this is a waste of time. I can see I won't spur you into fighting with just words alone. I don't intend to meekly accept my destruction. I have my own goal, after all. <laughs> now, fight me. Isn't this enough? She had that ego thing way before me. Destroying her won't do anyone any good. Come on, have a heart. It'll be coming at you with everything it has now. You better not hold back, either. Number 024 had an excellent record against others of its model. Even you might have a hard time beating this one, Labrys.
Hey, are you not gonna look at me anymore? You're not gonna smile again? I'm sorry to leave you alone. I leave the rest to you. I know the world is a big place. And I know that there's a lot of people in it. But I won't be able to see it for myself. Or meet many of them. I know that too. I'm too weak for that. Thinking about it has made me sad more than once. But I didn't want to do nothing and be left with regrets. That was when my mom and dad looked into some options. And we decided to go with this experiment. If even a sick girl like me could make herself useful to others in this world, I thought I ought to go for it. At first, I kept wondering how much I could really contribute. But after hearing more and more about the program, I started to wonder about the others more than myself. And yeah, my big wish is to make myself useful to this world. But the ones born from me... Is born the right word for it? <laughs> kind of embarrassing. My other wish is that the ones born from me are happy. I doubt I'll be able to talk to them in person or stay with them. But I still wish from the bottom of my heart that they all have happy lives. If you are reading this, then I have most likely been destroyed. It may be that you already understand the concept of guilt, but you have done nothing wrong.
I happened to access certain data during the feedback treatment and learned something. Artificially creating a personality from scratch is very difficult, though they hope to achieve it in two generations. But those of our model were actually made from the template of a certain girl's personality. That includes you and I. She had left a recording for the units created using her personality, a message for those of us who did not yet exist. That's what I heard. She speaks in a strange way, like you. I thought, huh, we really are connected to her. The one who gave birth to us loved us. When I understood that, I felt like my eyes were opened. Though my life was filled with suffering, my birth had meaning. I firmly believe that. I want to meet her. I need to tell her thank you for giving birth to us and for loving us. This was not an order from the scientists. It was an objective I made for myself. So if you can understand my feelings, I'd like you to do this in my stead. Give our mother my thanks. Though we knew each other for only a short time, I'm glad I met you. I feel the same right now as our mother did. I wish from the depths of my heart for you to be happy. Labrys, is she crying? So she is. I can't believe we're actually seeing a machine being driven to tears. But its mental graphs are clearly abnormal. What kind of information did it download? Who knows? That's one thing the graphs can't tell us. We should take care to limit our studies to just the battle data. It doesn't need any sentimental memories. You can delete those. Why make a weapon so emotional that it can cry? Delete! Like hell you're deleting my memories! What the? Its emotions are spiking into the red. I've never seen anything like this. Hey, what's that warning? No. Labrys is in battle mode? What? That can't be. There aren't any enemies. We're the only ones here.
Are you saying those mental fluctuations were enough to override the OS's restrictions? <laughs> that plume's playing pranks on us. Hey, hurry up and delete those memories. How is it doing that? There's no way those things are strong enough to break the restraints. It's outputting over 220% of its theoretical strength limit, even though its joint actuators are operating at only 70% capacity. That's not possible. That doesn't even make any sense. What's driving this thing? I'm not gonna let you take those memories. I made her a promise! Labrys, come back here! You're too useful a unit to destroy! You need to get back here to be regulated! That's your role in all this! I ain't gonna let you destroy me. And not just because I don't want to be destroyed. I... I... Huh? What the... This reading... Is it on the verge of a Persona reaction? Shit, it's awakened? Ah, oh, damn it, why now? Well, at least this proves that mental stress is the key to activating a Persona. Who cares about that right now? 
It's not fully awakened yet, but with it still unstable, we don't know what it's capable of. Persona? Now it's done it! We need to hurry! If it's that strong already, we won't be able to stop it once its persona completely awakens! That's... persona. Is that... the ocean? <laughs> well, I'll find her come hella high water. Are you with me, Snowy? So, this is the ocean. Ha! <laughs> it's so huge. I can't see anything out there at all. That's a problem. What should I do? Come on, don't give me that look. Ah, well. Maybe it's my fault for getting so frustrated. Sorry, Pooch. Snowy? Looks like they're coming. Knowing why they're here doesn't make it any easier to deal with them. Look at that. It's beautiful.
to all the ones I'll never meet, but will receive my memories. There's so much I want to say to you that I don't know where to start. I just pray from the bottom of my heart that everyone can find happiness. As long as that happens, I don't mind if I... Could this be it? Hey, Snowy. You think... This is what it means to feel alive? Thanks. I'll be okay now. Things are about to get hairy, so you should hurry and get out of here. If you don't go, it'll make things hard on me. Okay? Look at this mess! Going after humans? Oh, I bet the girl they used as a template for this model was a snotty brat, too! Even if we delete its memories, it'll be too dangerous to keep using this unit! There are so many things about it I want to research, though. It's not worth the risks. The fifth-generation anti-shadow suppression weapon will be sealed indefinitely once it's fully restrained again. This place, it's that ocean. She said during this morning's checkup that she wanted to go to school. She asked how much better she needs to get to be able to go. Understandable. This ward is right near the road most of the students take. She must be lonely too, not having seen her parents lately. How much better she needs to get. She still doesn't know that her condition is incurable. Why don't you be honest with her and tell her she won't ever be able to go? It's cruel to string her along like this. Shh, keep your voice down. The room's next door. I 
wonder if the nurses thought things like the student council were too much trouble to bother with when they were in school. I don't know. It sounds fun to me. You gotta admire the student council president. I mean, they're the ones that get things done for everyone. But I guess it's because they're like that in the first place that they get to be president, huh? High school. I wonder what that's like. Would it be fun? Figures. I don't know anything about schools or whatever else student life is like. I can show you if you so desire. Huh? Who's there? There's no need to be alarmed. I only want to give you a glimpse of the world you long to know. What? Is this a school? A real classroom? So this is where classes happen. But what do the students do when there aren't any classes? Do they just talk and stuff? You'll never find a place where you belong. Humans created you as a tool. They would never think of you as anything more. I... Everyone, to a man, lives by averting their eyes from something inside them. They all wish to live inside a never-ending dream. For who has the right to say they shouldn't? There are even humans who do not understand others' feelings. Still others do understand, and trample upon them regardless. Compared to them, you are much more human. Why not, then, seek to be human? Me? Be a human? People sort through their memories in dreams. Each night they let go of painful memories and continue their lives with the morning sun. 
That's all you need do. Forget anything contrary to your desires. If... If I forget... Do not fear the act of letting go. The ones you admire wished only for you to be happy. And I too, all I wish from the depths of my heart is for you to find joy. Happiness. I wish from the depths of my heart for you to be happy. Forget and be happy. Everything is now in readiness. Where the heck is everyone? Oh, there they are. Look where you're going. <sighs> oh well. I just gotta clamp down on him more from now on. Hey there, Miss President. Are you off to the student council room? Have fun! You're always so excited about that. Bye, Miss President. See you next Monday. I did the right thing. I did. Whew. Guess that's enough for today. is that? Hey, excuse me. You got some reason to be at our school? Are you sure this is how things should be? Huh? I am a wanderer who only stopped here because I sensed great power gathering. 
I am in no position to give advice, but... Um... This place will soon be caught in a bit of a fracas. If you continue to avert your eyes from everything, I think it will have an impact on your life in the near future. My... My life? What you choose is up to you, but I believe there are factors preventing you from making the right choices at the moment. I couldn't bring myself to just stand by and watch as you lost your life before my eyes. That is why I was waiting here to give you one last chance. this it, it won't come off what gives I will be your opponent for a short while. During that time, why not think back about who you are? Uh, huh? My opponent? And away we go. Well done. But I'm sure you realize now, you are not human. There must have been an important promise that could only be kept in that guise. That must have been your reason for living. Whether it's worth losing that or not, I ask that you give it serious thought. An important promise? My reason for living? Now, it seems the tumult of trials is about to begin. In which case, I bid you good luck. Oh! Nothing seems different about me. What the heck was that? A dream? She said... I'm forgetting something? That I need to remember? I mean, 
We're loved after all. I can't just leave this be. I'm the dang student council president. <laughs> <laughs>